Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen Siki Racing, and today I'm going to show you how I drill shock pistons as well as the tools needed to do this properly. Okay, so here we've got all the stuff that you need to drill uh, your shock pistons, and we'll start with the Mugen uh, blank shock pistons. Um, you don't necessarily have to start with a blank piston if you're using uh, say a 5-hole 1.3 piston and you want to drill it to a 5-hole 1.5, you can just use that piston and uh, you know make the holes larger. But for this case, I'm going to drill a set of 6-hole 1.3 pistons. That's kind of the most common uh, shock setup that I use. So we're going to start with the Mugen blank pistons. And then I have a drill set here that... Uh, I think you can find this on Amazon. I think it's also uh, available through A Main Hobbies. I'll try to find a link and post it below. Uh, but it's pretty nice. It's from 1.05 millimeters all the way up to 2 millimeters. So it kind of gives you the full range for any shock pistons you may want to drill. And then I also have a silver Sharpie. That way you can mark the piston uh, with the hole size so that if you ever take them out of your car, you kind of know, uh, know what you've got. So the last item is a Dremel. And you don't necessarily have to use a Dremel. And I only recommend using a Dremel if the Dremel, uh, can, the speed can be reduced because uh, you don't want to drill the pistons at, at uh, you know, a high rate of speed. If you try to drill the piston too fast, um, you can kind of oblong the hole and you're just not going to have a consistent feel. So with this battery powered Dremel here, you can turn the speed down and the Dremel is actually very, very slow. So next step you're going to want to do is just take a uh, parts box. Um, I have just a Novorossi engine box here. That way the piston is sitting flat and you want to make sure that you Take the Dremel and have it perpendicular to the surface that the piston's sitting on. And just kind of let the weight of the Dremel, um, you know, feed its way through the piston. And then as long as you have a sharp drill bit, it should, uh, it should pretty much leave no flashing and uh, make a perfect hole. Um, you should be able to just take and blow that off. Uh, with some compressed air when you're done. And then you just kind of repeat the process with the next hole. I think with the camera angle, it looks like uh, the angle of the Dremel may be off just just a little bit, but uh, doing it here in real life, it uh, you know I was able to hold the the Dremel pretty straight, perpendicular to the piston, and uh, able to make a uh, perfect six hole by 1.3 piston. From there, I'll just go ahead and blow it off with air. Maybe run your fingernail across just to make sure that there's no flashing on either side of the piston because you don't want any of the little burrs to kind of get into the oil. Um, but it's as simple as that.